Since we just covered all of the various vinyl record releases by the Rock of Fire Explosion, we thought we should also highlight the one, and to our best knowledge, the only vinyl release from Chuck E. Cheese's Pizza Time Theater. Before we dive into this rabbit hole, let's take a listen to this unique record in its entirety. Here's Side A, featuring the song I'm the Greatest. <laughs> And here's side B, with the song Biggest Fan.
You may have noticed that this didn't exactly sound like any Chuck E. Cheese you're familiar with. That's because it's not. As clearly shown on the record label, these recordings were written and recorded by Joe Ajar and Boo, or B-O-O, music out of Medford, Oregon. This had to have somewhat of an official stamp of approval, though, as it clearly uses the official Chuck E. Cheese's script logo on the label. Honestly, not a lot is known about these recordings in this record pressing, other than a handful of them appeared on eBay around a decade ago, probably the result of someone who discovered a small stash of them. So why exactly were these made? And why did Corpora allow a mock Chuck E. Cheese voice impersonator to release an official record? Who is Joe Ajar, and why are these so rare? Well, there's a few possible explanations. For one, this record was released in 1985, right in the middle of the chaos following Pizza Time Theater's bankruptcy and pending merger with Showbiz Pizza. During this period, a lot of stores were more or less running on their own, with little to no oversight from a corporate entity. This was especially true of franchise stores. So it's definitely possible that this record was only released in a single store, or perhaps a group of stores owned by the same franchisee in the Pacific Northwest. It definitely seems like it was a small localized operation, considering the address on the record was that of a suburban home and not any sort of commercial establishment. And Joe Ajar? There's not a lot known about him or his relation to Chuck E. Cheese. It appears that he stayed in Oregon since his record was released, undertaking a career with the Medford Police and eventually retiring. He did have a musical background, though, having played drums in bands while he was in college. But this is where things become even more interesting. As it turns out, this rare vinyl release is a portal to some promising lost media. Enter Chuck E. Cheese and the Ratcateers! It turned out that Mr. Joe Ajar has some grandiose plans. According to the U.S. Copyright Catalog, there was an entire cassette release planned to expand on this vinyl 45 single. On August 29th, 1985, the cassette I'm the Greatest, a collection of nine original songs, was submitted for copyright approval. This collection of nine tracks appears to feature the original two songs from the record, along with seven new additions, as noted in the copyright submission. Sadly, to date, no copies of this cassette or album have ever surfaced. So we don't know if it was ever actually released, or perhaps it was simply something that was recorded, copyrighted, and fell through the cracks. Maybe someday we'll find all of these lost media tracks. Maybe someday someone will discover these were actually produced and sold in Pizza Time Theater stores. Or perhaps Mr. Ajar is sitting on master recordings and someday they'll be digitized for fans to enjoy, 40 years after being recorded. (laughs) 